I conditioned a block of black clay with my clay machine and rolled it out to about a 9 inch by 3 inch rectangle. Next, I placed a sheet of printer paper over the clay and burnished it. I sprinkled small amounts of gold mica powder on the clay at various spots. Using a paintbrush, I tap and brush each area of gold mica powder. I added more areas as needed. I tap and brush green mica powder around each gold area, brushing inward to blend, but not cover the gold. Now I tap and brush aquamarine micro powder around the green. Using my smallest etch and purl tool, I create small streaks throughout the clay, always in the same direction. I conditioned a second rectangle of black clay slightly larger than the first. I used my texture sheet and clay roller to texture the clay to create an interesting back for the pieces. Now I flip the textured rectangle over and place my first clay rectangle on it. Now I place the same paper sheet over them and lightly burnish so that the two will stick together. Now it's time to cut out our shapes. I place a piece of plastic wrap over the clay rectangle and using my clay cutters, I cut out my shapes. Once I've cut out as many shapes as I can fit on the clay, I remove the plastic sheet and peel away the excess clay. Now I'll clean up the edges of each piece and remove the centers. Keep the centers because you can use them for other projects. These are my baked pieces out of the oven and cooled. What I'll do now is apply resin to each one of them and let that cure for 24 hours. If you'd like to see how I do my resin ap application, please take a look at my previous video. Once completely cured, I use a craft knife to remove any resin drippings. 
I use my craft drill with a buffing wheel to buff the edges and backs of each piece. I'm going to use Beacon Power Tack to adhere the bales to the backs of these two pendants. I decide how I want my pendants to present and determine where to glue the bales.